Mountaintop Sports made its way to Hillard Howard Field on Friday night for the much-anticipated battle of Pike County between defending Class 1A champion Pikeville and Class 3A champion Belfry. Pikeville overcame an eight-point first-half deficit to knock off the Pirates 20-14. It marked the first time the Panthers have won back-to-back -back games since 1999 and 2000 against Belfry. The game was tied 14-all at halftime and the Panthers scored the only points of the second half on Zach Lockhart's five-yard pass from quarterback Isaac McNamee with 10 minutes and 21 seconds left to play. Belfry, now 1-1, one one, had scored on their first two possessions of the game, but was held scoreless the rest of the way. Pirate running back Isaac Dixon scored on an eight-yard run in the first period to put the Pirates up 7-0. The Panthers came back and closed with them one at 7-6 on Blake Birchfield's two-yard run. Belfry pushed its lead out to 14-6 with one minute, five seconds left in the first quarter. The key play of the game came when Birchfield scooped up Dixon's fumble at the 22-yard line and returned it for a score with 5 minutes, 16 seconds left before the break. His two-point conversion run pulled the Panthers even. Pikeville's defense held Belfry inside the Panthers' 20-yard line with 3 minutes and 29 seconds to play. For a complete listing of Friday night's other games, visit mountain-topsports.com. With Mountaintop Sports, I'm Cody Davis.